I'm just driving down to Kayama Harbour. Uh, it's a funny setup down there as far as um, getting a mooring, and they don't come along very often. Uh, and I'm just going to try and negotiate a bit of a deal to pick one up that's um, for sale. The funny part is you've got to you've got to buy a boat to get access to the mooring. So um, I may end up owning another boat. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll go down. We'll have a chat. See, see what comes of it. It would be a great spot to put Tondaleo, um, particularly because over the next few years I really want to do a lot of work to her and uh, it's easy access and close to home. It's literally three kilometres away from my home. So uh, it would be a fantastic opportunity, but um, we'll just see. It's, it's not cheap, so nothing ever is with boats, is it? Anyway. Uh, we'll see how we go, and um, I don't know, I suppose fingers crossed. I don't know, I don't know whether I should be doing this or not, but we'll see. So here we are, that's the little boat, Helen J. Not very pretty, but anyway, that's the spot. You've got a charter boat either side, or two charter boats come and go from there. I don't know much about those people. This is it, the... Um, this is loose and requires work, but uh, that's the spot, easy accessing through the heads to uh, just pull up and away you go, oh, fingers crossed. I'm over the other side of the harbour now, you can see Helen J, the little boat with the orange roof over there, that's the site. Anyway, let's not get too caught up on what sort of boat that is because I probably won't have it for long. So that's outside, come in here. This would be really good for Tondi because I can just basically I've got a heap of room to move around and then just reverse in to there. Now you can see there's a lot of the, the um, charter boats drag their floats out quite a long way but still plenty of room to move around them. Uh, yeah so see how we go. There's a really good YouTube channel run by a guy, Stuart, from Dengar Marine. And i got to admit, I'm a, a massive fan. I've um, learned a lot from watching what he does. But he was talking the other day about project boats. And uh, he said, sometimes you go out to find a boat and you'll spend a lot of time and effort to find the right boat and get surveys done and all of that. Um, and sometimes a boat just finds you. Well. Look what just found me. Right, -o, so I'm down at Kaima Harbour. I've built a new uh, platform, or refurbished an old one actually. And, uh, got my little engine crane. I've set it up so that hopefully I can just lower it over the side and uh, drop a rod through the, the bottom and have a nice new uh, gantry or walkway to get onto the, the boats. Uh, so, so far I've been able to do it as a one-man job. See how we go. Just the last little bit to do now. Ramps down, in position. Um, we've just got to tighten up the, the rod. I've got it supported with the engine crane. That did a real good job. Bobby from up the road, he gave me a hand. And uh, it was good as done. Tighten things up, adjust it, and we'll have a nice new ramp. Well, we're done. So glad I used the engine crane. It made it so uh, much more manageable. And uh, there we have it. Freshly tidied up and now safe little ladder and gangway. All I gotta do now is stainless rod and uh, that'll be that. Looks good there. There. I just used um, tow bar tongues to extend the old rusty bit. That's why they're a bit wide as so I have to make the spaces which I just made out of a bit of water pipe and um, welded some ends on caps on it. 
pretty happy with that. The horse is stable. Where we go? Until we bring up Tommy. Water up almost as high as that lighthouse. There. 